Assuming you enjoy dropping big dumb idiots way too early. Um, if that was a forest, I'd keep this hand. I'll keep that. Uh, he's fine on top. Is he? No, he's not. Wizards of the Coast coverage. Is this guy also streaming? Uh, forest. I think we do Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, I said earlier we're probably going to wind up cutting Tree Speaker from the deck entirely. <laughs> I think a fourth Genesis wave might be good. Or maybe that's just asking for too much. More affinity. What is this? Whenever the fourth spell of a turn is cast, we they flip them. That could definitely be a problem. Does he fly? He becomes an enchantment. He flies right now. So we're going to shock it. Why are we shocking that? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to cast Eternal Witness right now. And we're going to buy back our fetch land. Storm count one. Is the goal of the deck just to flip Araya? Simeon Spirit Guide. Storm count is two. This is a seven C combo with affinity. Ouch! That one damage. I can cast a good one for one. Play my one slot piece again. And I think we just hit him for two. He has Jeskai Ascendancy, so... How many one-drops does he have? I 
Okay, so we're going for a thought cast. He untaps one creature or all creatures. Okay. I have no sideboard for this. So now I can tap the Ink Moth for mana, as well as this Memnite that's 2 mana. He discarded another Thought Cat, or Aurea, and a Gemstone Mine. I think our Storm Count right now is 2. There's three. Do you sack a strigger's roll? This game just suddenly got harder. I think we just lost this game anyway because his ink wants is already out of 5-5. Five five and you can probably make that midnight up to a 16-16. I'm gonna see if I can watch him play though. That'll be six infect and six damage on the ground. But I'll have to be down to ten with six infect. I'm gonna take. One, two, three, four, That's about all I can do. I thought that card was banned in modern for some reason. Hmm. 
Oh, we're attacking now? How big is the ink loss? That's a 3 3, so it still can't kill me. That's also a 3 3. I think he fizzled. Um, can I get away with taking? The problem is that he has that enchantment, so it's going to counter the first thing I, I turn the first spell I cast. Uh, we'll take it. Did not want to draw the land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the next turn I can cast a crater hoof if I want it to get countered. Plus one, plus one, right? Yeah, plus one, plus one. Think I hit him for five. I can just hit him for zero because I screwed that up. Yeah, I already turned a while ago that we lost the game. I just wanted to see if the, how his deck works. Take one. I'll concede. So, first things first, we need Seal Primordium. We need to answer that enchantment. I'm also going to bring in Acidic Slime because it is a Death Touch. Rook Star is great versus a Storm deck. Uh, knock out of Prime Time. We don't need Crater Hoof. Uh, Genesis Wave might be bad. Uh, tree speaker, you're definitely gonna cut at this point. I boarded you out every single round. Hmm, I like the primal commands, and we'll keep the eternal witness just so we have access to the lock. I think we're good on another. I think we just cut all the Genesis waves. Choke might not be great. We need one card, I think. I think we'll just go the big dumb idiot route. Run three prime times in a root car. We'll keep. Uh, again, we are plagued with the bad, bad hands. Ouch. This has happened every round. Wow. Well, we'll get our stop of ground first. Uh, we'll actually just have that tapped. He's not gonna. He's not gonna really attack us for much on the next turn.
Pokemon's a good card to have right now. Here we go, Burning Tree Emissary. He looks cool, right? Uh, here's this guy. Okay. Last turn. Woodland Bellowers? What's that do? Oh, it's that guy. I like him. We're actually casting it? You know when somebody's actually casting a Simeon Spirit Guide? Something is going on. And most of the time it's not good. Hey, my land for turn. I have one, two, three, four devotion. So I can have five. I can destroy the gemstone line. I think I want to destroy the ink moth. Uh, give me green. Here's an acidic slime. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, I figured you'd block the burn tree. Keep try to keep me off of mana. That is beautiful. I love you. I love I love it when people cast that card. I feel so much better now. If we draw no we're not drawing a Genesis wave, that's gonna be a seal primordium. Uh Wait, 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 wait. I forgot it ends the turn. Oh shit. Uh, I don't think he can kill us next turn, so we'll do a bunch. Damn it. I think he cast that just so we can skip a turn. He basically just took an extra turn with getting a new hand. Okay, look at our hand. See, right now he's got basically perfect information for my turn because he knows he knows my hand and Corsair Prefix is revealing the top part of my library. Mm. 
And is he gonna Okay. I was scared he was gonna go for another his and doing. I'm not okay. I think we can basically play our hand, maybe. There's Araya. Sarcast, okay. That's one. Yep, he, I think he did school. I think he forgot to activate his ink moss. Yeah, that's, wait, that's what he did. Okay, we're actually going to do something here. We're drawing an arbor off next turn. That's fine. I'll get away. Uh, start the Nictus activation train. Arbor uh, four. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Whoops! I could have had more mana. Here's another burning tree. Buy back my mana. Here's an arbor elf. That does not count towards him. I did not want to have to deal with that. Uh, that's 11. So here's Seal Primordium. So we have a necklace and we have stomping ground, Keswick Wolfron is in our hand, so we're just going to get another stomping ground for redundancy and a force we've already activated uh, Garrick and we lost our mana let's attack a Corsair We can win through Araya. Is he casting another Jeskai Ascendancy? He is.
Okay, we'll get the trigger so we'll get the benefit. Let's hit it now. They disconnected. Okay. So I guess we just uh, sit around here and wait for a little bit. See what happens. <clears throat> so how's it going, everybody? Podcast. Okay, so he's back. We can make a bunch of mana, so we really just beat this shit out of him with Cassie Wolf Run. You see our wind condition in our hand. But yeah, I can wolf run him next turn and if I and depending on how many attacks he improves he feels like killing, I can probably kill him too. So he he has to kill us now. Because if anything, I'm probably most likely going to cast a wolf run to either the Primeval Titan or another creature that he's blocking. We do have our Acidic Slime available so we can block with the Death Toucher if he decides to attack with the Nun Knight. Either way, he's at least going to take a bunch of damage if it's not lethal. I have Garrick, so how much mana can I make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 off of Nyctos. So, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm counting down. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15 now? I think I can, I can wolf on him for lethal. Yes, I can nick this in response to the Titan trigger, but Titan, Primeval Titan's lands enter the battlefield tapped. Let's see if I remember the uh, command here. I think it's just a uh, bank card. Hey, I remembered it. And even then, I want to be a plus one Garrick, so I can just make a bunch of mana that way. So we're going to have to cast a wolf on a main phase one. 
So we're probably going to cast a wolf on something that called the Primary Titan and Nice Swing. Hey, he killed us. Yeah, okay. I am perfectly fine losing that way, I guess. Uh, own four.